so I'm getting ready to start packing for the boys because my parents are gonna be watching them while we're out of town so I need to pack their bags as well I think I'm gonna do like 10 outfits for each boy because we're gonna be gone for five days plus we're staying a couple days before and a couple days after in St. Louis so we're gonna be gone for a long time so I'm packing lots of clothes for them so I'm just getting everything ready I'm gonna use this tote bag for crew this is his hospital bag and then I have a similar one for Cal and I also want to show you guys this thermometer that I'm going to be packing this was sent to me by the company Instamed IQ you can actually get this on Amazon but it also has different modes for adults and children and it's super easy if your child is a wiggle worm like little crew I can just kind of stick it on his forehead and get his temperature within just a couple of seconds and then also if it is a high temperature it beeps and flashes at you so it's really easy to know when they are running a high temperature like Cal was just the other day and you guys can find this product on Amazon it's $24.99 so it's actually a really good price plus I have a 10% off code for you guys use the code Clarissa P10 to get 10% off and I want to thank Instamed IQ for sponsoring this portion of the vlog time to start packing everything don't really know how I'm gonna do it I do have some of these packing cubes that I'll use and then I also have um, vacuum seal bags but I don't know if I'll need those my suitcases are pretty large and I also am adding I just got these shorts today from Versona so I'm gonna add these into my stash of Mexico clothes how cute I probably won't even end up wearing them I'm not even bringing a top with them, but I just want to throw them in my, my suitcase as well. Oh, I've got all my swimwear up here, so I don't know. I've got to figure out a system. you guys what I did so I put my night this is all my nighttime outfits I just used one of these vacuum seal bags for that and then I love these because I feel like you can fit so much stuff in here but I've got swimsuits and then three cover-ups in here this will be my carry-on bag and then this will be checked and so on this side I've got hats handbags and shoes and then this big bag is my outfits plus bras plus a couple cover-ups and then that one that kind of busted open is workout clothes and pajamas. So I still have plenty of room now to add my toiletries and accessories. 
All right, so now I'm gonna get all my supplements ready and I'm definitely gonna put this stuff in my checked luggage because I'm scared. Like, I don't know what the rules are. I think this is fine because people take vitamins, right? <laughs> so this is what I do when I pack like all of our supplements. It's for me and David. These are really nice to fill up with all of our stuff. So I'm bringing like block, which is the thing that helps block carbs and sugars. I'm bringing like my uh, prenatal vitamins, my probiotics, what else? Um, bio cleanse, lots of bio cleanse. I think I've got some fish oil. That's pretty much it. I'm also gonna bring these activated charcoal capsules because if you drink, like, honestly, I feel like these really help if you like have a lot to drink one night and then take this before you go to bed. It helps prevent like a hangover. So I just ordered these um, for that purpose in um, Mexico, so I'm gonna pack some of those. And then I found this from Amazon, and it's like, I think it's for baby formula, but it's three separate little containers for powder. And I'm going to bring my keto coffee creamer because I really like this stuff, and I feel like it gives me a lot of energy. And I'm also probably gonna bring a little bit of my pre-workout, and then I thought I was gonna bring something else that was powder. Oh yeah, I'm gonna bring my Fibertism because it's like a little energy. So like a midday boost Little supplement. So I'm gonna pack all this put it all in my checked luggage So hopefully they don't think it's like drugs. Oh and my slim. I'm just gonna bring a whole big bag of this All right for my jewelry um, And accessories basically what I like to do is I put them in little bags like little jewelry bags I actually have like a whole drawer Saved of jewelry bags so I'm gonna use those and I'm going to be putting them in like outfit order. So like everything that goes together for one outfit will go in the same bag. I could be real extra and label them too, but I don't think I need to do that. So I'm going to bag everything up. I know this bag is gonna be like pool jewelry and these are gonna be each like little outfits that I wear. And I also got some new stuff, just a few more new things since filming that haul video. Um, so I wanna show you guys what I found at Versona. It's kind of like a Charming Charlie's. Um, they have really cute stuff. So I got another anklet. This one, I just liked all the little charms on it. So cute. Also grabbed this little scrunchie, which I think will be really nice to just throw on my wrist with my swimsuit in case I want to take my hair up. And then I also grabbed this little set of three bracelets that I thought were nice and beachy, and I think they might look good with my usual gold bracelets, kind of like layered. Let's see. Yeah, so I really like those too. And then how fun is this little headband? This is also like fun for the pool. I just love those pom-poms. And that'll actually match one of my swimsuits that I'm bringing. So I'm going to figure out all this and pack it all up. All right, I just put in my Medela breast pump. I like how compact it gets. I'm gonna keep this in my smaller suitcase along with the bottles i'm actually just planning on pumping and dumping the whole time i'm not going to bring any milk back um i just don't i don't need it so i'm just going to pump and dump um but this is going to be my carry-on so it'll be in there but i'm also bringing this as my personal item which is a really really big tote so I'm actually gonna put my handheld uh breast pump in here and that's what i'll use like at the airport and stuff so my little tip for you is to make your personal item, like your purse, um, really, really big. So this one is from Target and it totally passes as like a purse, but I can stuff it filled with like tons of extra stuff that doesn't fit my suitcase. So I know for sure I'm gonna put my books in here because I wanna be able to read on the plane. If I bring any other books, I'll put them in my suitcase but I've got one for me, one for David, or two for me and one for David. I don't want it to be too heavy though, so we'll just do that. And then I'm gonna bring my sunglasses in here, and then I'm also bringing Advil and Dramamine. I get really car sick and motion sickness when I travel, so I'm bringing non-drowsy Dramamine and Advil, and probably like phone charger, camera charger, camera, Stuff like that. Um, so right now this is all I have that I can think of, but I'm sure I'll think of more that I need to put in here. All right, I'm gonna pack my toiletries now. I'll show you guys how I do it. I have this bag by Sonia Kashuk from Target, and then I have another one that's really similar over here. 
So this one I always keep stocked with stuff. It's pretty much always like this and that way if I'm going somewhere like just for like a one night stay or whatever, I can just toss this in my bag and it's ready to go. Um, so in here is makeup, but this is kind of like the makeup I don't really like care about. Like it's just like random makeup that I don't really like that much. I just keep it in there as like backup. Um, so it's just kind of always in there. And then over here I keep like toiletries. Um, what is this? Feminine wipes, <laughs> um, face wipes, Biore like toner, um, more Advil, shea butter. Um, this is some wrinkle release spray that I just got, some dry eye relief, floss, a little like face scrubby brush, a hairbrush, a mini deodorant. Uh, I think that's pretty much it. There might be, oh, there's toothpaste. So yeah, a bunch of little things in here. There's probably a toothbrush, hopefully. Yeah, there's a toothbrush back there. So keep that always stocked. And then on this side is like shower and hair and body stuff. So I love it has like these little like detachable pouches. So this one has hairspray, dry shampoo, and then those two new serums that I just got, which I think I accidentally, they're really similar. One's a serum, though one's a spray, but they say the same thing, so hopefully I didn't buy the same thing. Um, and this is like some face stuff, like makeup remover, facial mist, a clay mask, sunscreen, sunless tanner, um, face cream. And then in here, I have like my shower stuff, so there's the two new Shampoos I just got, um, a body wash, a face, wa face wash. I'm gonna bring this detox mask too because it fits in here. Razor and some lotion. So you can really fit a ton of stuff in this little bag. Okay, and then this bag is going to be my like real makeup. So I'm gonna do on this side, I'm gonna do like all this sun care stuff. Brushes in the middle and then my like nice actual makeup that I wanna bring over on this side. So at Ulta, I got this new Tarte Man Eater Mascara, um, but I'm also gonna bring my Senegin's Lash Sense one because this one's waterproof, so I wanna make sure I have a waterproof one too. I'm also bringing these L'Oreal Lumi Drops. These are so nice for like, especially when you're tan, just to like kind of put on your like clavicle and your like shoulders and stuff. Okay, so then I found this palette, which I've seen a lot of people talking about. It's the Chloe and Malika palette by Becca. This was on sale at Ulta when I went for half off. So it was only like $22 or something like that. Um, and it just comes with a bronzer, two blushes and a highlighter. So I'm gonna bring that. And then this is that, this is um, Tarte Chrome Paint in the color Froze. And I think this will be so cool for the pool. So watch when I swatch it. Oh, can you guys see? There. So yeah, so it's like a really pretty like iridescent. It kind of changes from orange to pink on there. So I think that'll be really pretty to wear like at the pool and the beach. Hey babe. <laughs> and then I also Mommy, Dad. got this NYX. Go You're going downstairs? Yeah. Filler Instinct Lip Gloss, which is another like really shimmery. I don't know, I'm just like all about the shimmer for the beach. Okay, then I'm bringing my Senegence makeup because it's really waterproof, so I'm bringing the uh, blush, liquid blush and bronzer, the mascara, tinted moisturizer, foundation. This is Tarte, this is their Shape Tape two eyeliners, liquid and pencil, and then these are all of my Senegence eyeshadows. They stay on really, really well, so I'm bringing all those, and then I'm also gonna bring some Lip Sense colors. I think I picked out like 10 of my favorites, and then like four glosses. <laughs>
I'm gonna put my lipsticks in my um, like carry-on purse. And I actually still have a lot of space, so I just put my two cosmetic bags in my checked luggage because I don't want to deal with, you know, not having the right quantities of liquids or whatever. So they're just going to go in the checked bag. Um, and then I also just added in my um, underwear and lingerie pouch. And then this bag right here is going to be my bag for St. Louis. I just have like a few changes of clothes and stuff in here. Since we are going to be spending the night there first before we actually fly, I don't want to have to like dip into my suitcases after they're all nicely packed. So I'm just bringing a separate bag for that night. All right, that's everything. So there's my carry-on and my tote bag and then my big large suitcase and then what I'm bringing for my overnight stay before we fly out. All right, so in addition to showing you guys how I'm packing and everything, I also wanted to take you along with me like getting ready. So I'm gonna go get my hair done. I just have it like pulled back in a bun. Just like screenshot of this girl on Instagram. I was like, her hair looks nice. Okay, so her hair, oh, yeah. see how it's like more like white blonde, uh -huh. but she still has like the, the depth, the depth like I do. Yes. Yeah. So that's kind of, because it always kind of turns like caramely. Yes. Yours likes to yellow out a lot. Yes. Of so I like the more like white blonde look. Um, do you have purple shampoo at home? Uh uh. That would help a lot too, like okay. once a week washing with that. It just helps re add that tone back to it. Um, Matrix just like launched this new brand or this new line, and it's pretty legit. I don't like Matrix really at all. But their purple shampoo and their blue shampoo is pretty amazing. Okay. Is and it cheaper than Lana? Yeah, it's a lot cheaper too. Okay. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna still like maybe light you up towards the face a little bit. Okay. And as I come back in here, I'm gonna keep that depth. I'm still gonna attach a few of these up at the top and melt them in. Okay. But then your ends, I'm gonna re-pick up a few of these and re-blonde them out as well. So just a, whatever you think as far as trimming. Okay. Not too much. Just get those little baby ends off. Yeah. Probably like that right there. The splits. Yeah, that's perfect. That work? Yep. Do any kind of face framing, long yeah. bang, yeah, all that. Just got done. I am obsessed. Oh, it always feels so good to get new hair. And I love doing it like right before a vacation because then it's just like fresh and nice. So I just got more blonde. And now I'm literally starving. So I'm gonna go to drive through McDonald's before I get my brows done. Hi, can I get two uh, crispy chicken snack wraps and a large fry and a large Diet Dr. Pepper? All right, snack wraps, did you want, did you say you wanted grilled or crispy? Crispy, please. My eyebrows look like I, you probably can't tell much of a difference, but before I in the last clip I had makeup on my eyebrows and now I have no makeup on, so this is what they look like just like tinted. Just got out of Alta and I grabbed actually my hairdresser gave me this, which is like Joyco Defy Damage, but they're just like little pouches. And they happen to have this at Alta, which is travel size for $17.99, so I was like, oh, I'll just grab this because I can take all of this stuff with me on vacation. Um, I just wanna have something that'll protect my hair a little bit better because it always turns brassy. So I got that, and then this is like a UV brightening veal, veil. <laughs> wow. Um, so it's a UV and thermal defense like spray, so I thought that would be good before like the ocean and stuff. And then I got the shampoo that she recommended, which was the Matrix Brass Off Purple Shampoo. I got two shampoos and one conditioner because it was buy two, get one free. All right, so we just got to St. Louis and I am getting my nails done. The last thing I wanted to do before we go on vacation. got our nails done at Couture Nails and I am so obsessed. I have to do like a close up and show you that. Considering you didn't even know where to go. I know. I'm really lucky. We didn't know where to go. We just, this is right by my mom's house and I was like worried because I have, a, I had a picture of this exact nail 
there you guys can see it and um I was like I don't know if they can do it and the girl I went to she specializes in ombre nails so it was perfect and I'm actually gonna come back next time I'm in town I'm gonna come back and see her because she was so good so it's like a pink a baby pink and then like a light oh, peach still sorry oh it's okay and then she did like an extra little chrome like chrome brush on my ring finger I just did yellow toes. Line. But she was a nice kid. She was so sweet. All right, guys. Well, that's everything. We fly out early tomorrow morning. And when you guys see this video, we'll actually already be there. So thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you in my next one. Pray Bye. for safe travels. Yes, thank you.